Taking a short break from this non-stop winter weather we've been experiencing here in the U.S., we are 100 days away from the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season, which is actually beginning to trend on Twitter. We kind of see that once we get into that 100 day, just over three months until we have a brand new list of our 21 names that we receive with every new season. And now knowing after last year that 21 is certainly not enough. But that's just the first 21. If you remember, of course you remember, last season was the busiest hurricane season on record ever in recorded history with 30 named storms, 31 tropical depressions beating out the long-standing record of 2005. You can see here total storms, 30 is a new record high with 31 depressions. As you can see here, the season begins June 1st. 100 days from today will be the beginning of the new season. And we can also see that our first storm was recorded May 16th. The reason this is important to know is because, yes, the season begins on June 1st, but clearly our first storm was before that, so the June 1st to November 30th guidelines are just that, guidelines. We can have storms well before the beginning and well after the end. But regardless of the date of the first storm, we need to understand that not only was last year the busiest season, but very soon after, in fact, just days after, this was updated February, but before that, they came out with this projection in more or less words saying that the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season will be another very active season battling the 2020 season. This is determined by many factors. We've talked about it on this channel many times. The polar vortex is a very, very big factor, which in turn is part of our jet stream and in turn is that force field that will block or allow a storm to get into the United States, whether that's through the Gulf or through the East Coast. Not only that, but very, very important is the fact that we are still, since last November, November, November of 2020, we have been in a La Nina phase, which means the oceans are warmer. And when those things are all added together, the result is and usually is an active hurricane season. The same situation took place in 2005, which is a go-to year for data. And also the year of Hurricane Matthew, which is the thumbnail I used for this video back in 2016. And with all that information at our disposal and kind of has been with winter kind of taking the front seat to weather, we now have 100 days to go, and that is a pretty big deal in the weather world. 100 days is very significant until the beginning of this season. Very quickly, I want to take you through the GFS chart showing us the next three or four weeks of winter weather. And as you see, in any given 24-hour period, we don't see any super significant storms going on. Of course, anything after five to six days, you really don't want to forecast on. But just to get an idea of what the immediate future looks like, we can see a system coming in around the beginning of March, which could be a pretty significant storm. Keep in mind, though, this is a few weeks away now. And yes, everybody, I too, when I see the month of March, I automatically think of warmer weather, but we need to remember something, especially if we're talking about big weather moments in history like the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. We also need to talk about March of 2018. I talk about this very often as it is one of the most significant sets of weather events that has ever taken place. We had four nor'easters in the month of March in 2018. That is one per week, and you can literally see here March 1st, March 6th, March 12th, and March 20th was the beginning of each of those four nor'easters. And just a simple search can show you something interesting, and if you take a look at the hurricane chart, our percentage of hurricanes per month, it actually skips a few months as the chance of having a hurricane at that time is almost zero. We see that January, February, March, and April are not on the chart, but yet we've had storms in April, and then what some could call call a nor'easter season is just on the tail of the beginning of hurricane season. So it's interesting to see that transfer of energy move from basically the northeast of the United States into the Atlantic Ocean. If you think about it, there really is no end to the threat of what could possibly happen, especially with the insane weather we've been having for more than two and three years now, and that includes all the seasons, winter, fall, summer, spring. It just seems like every single season has brought another record-breaking situation or a record-breaking storm. We had our derecho earlier in 2020, and then we had the insane hurricane season, and then toppled with the epic 
winter we are still dealing with and the situation that the mid-central area of the country, especially the state of Texas, went through and is still going through today. So basically, the long and short of it is around and around we go. And to end this video, we're going to finish off our thought on where we began, and that is the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. So what are the estimates? Take a look here. They give larger probability, 35% of a season, slightly less, but still above normal. 12 to 15 tropical storms, 6 to 8 hurricanes, 2 to 3 of those being major. If an El Nino develops, that could lead to a near average or even below average season, but we're in the La Nina, not the El Nino right now. So we will see what happens, my friends. We still do have a nice chunk of winter to experience and to get through, but as that time comes and goes, we will transfer over to hurricane season, but not before tornado season. We got to remember that as well. We have our tornado alley, which we will be monitoring nonstop. My friends, thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Every little bit helps. Shout out to Canada. I hope everyone in Texas is getting their stuff situated, and please click that bell for instant notifications. Thank you all so much. Hope you have a great day. Stay warm. Stay safe. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.